Hey you chickadees, I'm Lay Rooster and you're in the hen house. Good to see y'all. Been a little while. Sorry, life and work been getting in the way a bit, but we've still been doing live streams here on YouTube and on Twitch quite a bit, as well as some other games, so check us out um, over there as well as the um, weekly YouTube videos. Remember to like and subscribe. Let's talk about this arc and, you know, see, I was feeling, I don't know, a lot of people I think have been less than impressed with a lot of the things that have been coming out in the recent arcs. I shared that and that has kind of led to me not being as active in some of the videos because I wasn't as excited about some of the stuff. And there was a lot of hype leading into this arc and I wanted to talk about it with just a brief grade and a brief review. So um, I'm going to look over, I'm looking over in the patch notes off, off screen because they're don't need to be shown to you. You know them as well. Um, so just kind of kicking through things. Let's see, I'm going to start. There was the G6 expansion. That's really the big thing. You know, when Voyager came early, as far as I was concerned, uh, I wasn't sure what we were going to get for the Christmas uh, the Christmas arc season. Uh, looks like it is the G6 expansion. So that makes sense. That's something big enough to take the place of one of these anchor series, um, but a little, di little bit different. Um, I'm not up there. I'm pushing into Ops 49 at this point, so I'm not anywhere into the G6. I haven't really started to dip my toe into G5. Um, so I'm curious from those of you who are up there, leave comments below about what it's like and how you're liking it. Um, I'm glad the game is growing uh, and expanding. It gives people who are in those um, in the 60s uh, or who are at 60 or waiting to go to 60, um, gives them something to do, gives ways to expand. I think it's somebody who's in the 40s and actually people who are in lower lower tiers, lower tens, um, you know, of the levels, the expansion to level 70 um, and and the G6 world actually helps make G5 easier to deal with. Um, less pressure there because people have moved on. Same thing that when G4 came out, really, we saw a um, things got a lot different for G3 land. So I think that's positive and it'll ultimately um, help the economy. We did see a prime there for, uh, you know, reducing uh, efficiency um, on G3 through G5. Uh, I plan to watch and see what happens um, as things get potentially easier to move through so they can push us to the higher tiers. Anyway, leave your comments down below. Um, also, we had the um, the officers. So we have the Enterprise E, Picard, and Data. Um, you know, nice looking throwbacks to the movies. Uh, don't really mind that. Um, the officers are pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent for some uh, hostile hostile grinding and some different pieces to them. So um, I, I wouldn't call them must have, but they are using the um, isolytic cascade damage, which is kind of the new. The new damage um, so that's good as far as growth of the game and the power creep that's in the game so there's more officers for that um, they are not must-haves but they're not they're nice to have so i'm gonna i'm gonna rate that okay um, so we've got that and of course more missions i think the big one you know the one i wanted to save save for a minute was the brand new board cube ship um, starting at level 28 onward people being able to get that Props to Scopely One that for twenty dollar battle pass you could have this um, unlocked um, after I think day day eight, which is the path I took. Um, and so I like it when uh, we get a mechanic that is relatively cheap. Um, now um, there was a lot of hype leading into it with the Borg ship. I know uh, I think it was kind of pitched as sort of a a savior to the dwindling feelings about STFC that have been going on lately in a lot of the communities and a lot of the streams. I don't think the Borg Cube is a successful rescue of that. It's not, although I think it was used as a break glass in case of emergency in order to instill excitement. Most people have said it is meh or underwhelming. Um, I have it. Um, I'm starting to enjoy it as I'm in tier four. I will say that the very beginning use of the board cube is extremely underwhelming and annoying while you wait to build it up and just try to see what it's going to do. Um, that That is annoying. Um, it seems okay. Um, it is not like, oh my god, but it is okay. And I'm starting to enjoy using it a bit and mess around with it. I can see Augie, is, Augie the dog is, is moving around and shaking his collar, so that I'll pick up on there. Um, just like old times on our videos. Anyway, so the cube, 
The cube is better than I originally thought when I thought it was just completely underwhelming, um, but it is not the savior of the game that I think it was built to be and introduced to be. Um, I'm, but I'm mildly interested in playing more with it, like I am the Voyager. Um, let me know in, down below in the comments what you're thinking as well. So we have that. Uh, let's go into uh, into the game, and I guess it's clicking on the wrong things here. Go to the drive-through movie here. Looking at events, um, just wanted to kind of grab through that. I think the trivia events were they were amusing, and they paid out again. Speaking of the board cube, they tended to pay out well for um, advancing the board cube so that you could um, move forward, which was really important if you're sitting higher than 28 and ready to move this up and see what it's like because it's annoying unless you're going to spend money and it's never good to feel like you're being forced to spend money or miss out so at least some of that was coming in so i'm not as far behind personally as i would have been if i hadn't spent you know anything that kind of thing so i appreciate some of those uh, we've had the sms and slb events the last one is still going on for picard and data um, those are okay. They're not as annoying as some of the ones that we've had in recent past. Uh, not as good as some of the ones we've had as well. So those have definitely been up and down. Um, but so it's somewhere in the middle, um, I would say. Had the events. Now, um, there's been a few things. I know we had to kill some Cardassians at one point. You had to kill some Lost and Herogens at one point. Although I don't always like what they throw at us, I do appreciate in the in the game when we get older stuff. We had a fleet commander run um, as well. These old mechanics are not that not that old, but uh, being not um, forgotten and still making them to uh, remain just a little bit relevant to me is a good thing with the game. So I was happy to see some of that in there. Although sometimes it's going to be something that I don't like grinding or whatever, so I can get with that. The heroes versus villain events came out. Those have been fairly underwhelming to me. I did them. They haven't felt like they were that important, but you know, maybe they'll wow me. I doubt it. But anyway, it was a little bit different, um, and we'll go from there. The board cube events, um, there was a lot of them. I know people were like, I thought this was over. I keep thinking it's over. I want it to be over. But I didn't really mind having multiple chances to kind of grind and participate in there, depending on where you were in unlocking the cube at the very beginning or later on after day eight or even after that, perhaps. Um, so that's been OK. And I've got it was there were enough opportunities where I could put some energy into it when I wanted to and then not do it when I didn't want to. So I thought that was good. Um, so there the Ad Astra events were going on. Uh, they were yeah, again, they were just, you know, they were grind, but they were a little bit different. So kind of positive pieces there. Um, I'm curious about your thoughts Then our ticketed events. We're going to finish those up now. Um, and then we had the Thanksgiving event, which is in a, a mildly inoffensive kind of kind of fun thing that we can do and allows us to kind of highlight the Thanksgiving holiday and weekend, particularly in the States and share that. But so I thought that uh, that's been that's been fine and fun, giving us a little bit of stuff to do. Um, and nice, nicely thematic with Neelix and everything like. That. So then that kind of gets us, that kind of gets us through a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, it's, it's better than it has been. Is my grade? My grade, my grade is going to be, my grade is going to be a C plus for this arc. And previous recent arcs have not been that high for me. Why is it? It's more like it is meh. And um, meh to me is a step in the right direction for where Scopely's been, been having us be in the last few arcs. I am giving a plus. We have the quality of life updates. Um, now they're tied behind syndicate level, syndicate level 21. So that's both a here's your quality of life and here's a screw you at the same time from Scopely. Um, the quality of life upgrades are good, but them hiding them and gating them behind spending progression and longer, much longer time if you're super free to play on the syndicate progression is is dirty pool from Scopely. So I'm giving them a little bit of a positive bump. That's where the plus and the grade comes is because the quality of life things are good. These things are helping the game, but uh, they can't get a lot from me because they're still screwing over a lot of people. Really, the quality of life upgrades need to be extended to everyone who plays this game. Free to play, never spend a dime on up. So anyway, those are my thoughts. C plus for this arc. 
Glad to be back trying to get you some content in addition to the streams. Please let me know your thoughts and your comments down below, and I look forward to hearing you. You take care, and cock-a-doodle-doo.